TDS is a game with a wide variety of difficulties. Molten mode being very easy, unlike Badlands, which spawns a boss with 600,000 health. But another factor besides the enemies that can make a game hard is the maps. Tower Defense Simulator has made a wide variety of these maps, ranging from easy to <laughs> insane, making an enemy like the Fallen boss much more difficult to beat. Today, I will be solo fallen triumphing five of some of the hardest maps in the entire game. And one of these maps took me over seven and a half hours to beat. So stick around. Map one of five is Sacred Mountain. This map has very limited space for units and a huge mountain blocking any good spots to place towers. Game one, my loadout consisted of farm, accelerator, gladiator, DJ, and Commander. In that game, I found out that spamming Gladiator is not always the solution. So, after learning that valuable lesson, in the very next game, I died to the tank because I spammed Gladiator. Next, I tried Golden Minigunner as a cheaper option than Accelerator. This strategy worked at the start, letting me beat the tank, but I died later on from lack of DPS, so I scrapped the idea of the entire loadout and changed it to Accelerator as DPS, Jester to slow the enemies, Medic for waves 35 and onward, and Commander and Farm. Jester as early, I farmed to get a max Accelerator. It was all looking good, but somehow, two skeletons leaked on wave 35. After about two more hours of trial and error, I constructed the Elite Loadout. Commander, Engineer, Accelerator, Jester, and Farm. Engineer was early defense as I farmed for Accelerator. After I maxed all of my farms, I was set to kill the Fallen Boss. Now my only job was to get as much towers as possible. I maxed one Accelerator for Wave 30 and beat the tank. Then I passed the breakers on wave 35. At this point, I knew I was on a good run. Now to just finish the job. With map one completed, now I just had to beat four much more difficult maps. Oh, sorry, I meant three much more difficult maps. The next map was Gilded Path. This map only took me two runs to beat. The second run's loadout was Farm, Jester, Engineer, Gold Mini, and DJ. I placed my units in the back so my towers could see as much as possible, and I took down the boss. From this map forward, the map started to get really, really tough. Map 3 is Winter Stronghold. This map spawns two times as many enemies and has two roads. My loadout was DJ Accelerator, Cowboy for Money, and Ranger because of how long the paths are. Game 1, I defended early with Cowboy and saved up for Accelerator. On wave 20, Fallen came onto the path. Thankfully, my defense was strong enough and we took the wave down. Wave 23 came and I watched in horror as my main DPS decided to exclusively hit the giant boss. And just let the Fallen into my base. Game two, I came back to the same wave. This time, I had found the solution. Ranger, this tower has good targeting, unlike Accelerator. So I was able to pass the wave. But the next wave, I forgot hidden bosses existed. Hold up. And I died. Yeah, we're just gonna skip game four like it didn't even happen. Because game five, I realized the other side of the castle existed, which had a lot more space. And I beat wave 23. This time, I remembered the hidden boss existed and had enough DPS to take down the tank. After that, I cruised through the waves, making it to wave 40.
and I did it! In the quick time of, uh, 37 minutes, these last two maps saying that they're hard <laughs> is an understatement. The first of the two, and the easier one, is Space City, where the map is floating in the middle of space. On this map, there are two paths that merge into one. Sadly, the first three and a half hours of attempts came out as black, so I'll just start this out much later on. My first game went something like this. Engineer for early. Farming. More engineer. Some rangers. Then, I could clearly see my weakness. I had weak hidden detection. I seem to have a very hard time with those guys. Anyways, in the next game, I tried the Jester Accelerator combo. I died. So you guessed it, a hidden boss. Next, I tried the only obvious solution, more firepower. The best two towers to use to get the most DPS is Engineer and Gold Minigunner, because of Gold Minigunner not having a placement limit. So I used this strategy and it got me to wave 40. The only tricky part is there is a lot of RNG because of the mysteries. So even though I had the best loadout, it all comes down to luck and I died. The only thing I can do now is do it again. So I did. Map 4 had been conquered. Now the only map left was the hardest of them all. Black Spot Exchange. This map has two pirate ships where two times the enemies come out. To win this map, you have little to no room for error. If you don't upgrade the most efficient farm upgrades, you die. If you don't place a certain tower on a certain wave, you die. If you don't subscribe and like the video right now, you die. Anyway, so you get the point. So to combat the two times enemies, I used Shotgunner. That didn't work. But what did work was Gladiator and Engineer. So I started getting a strategy together, doing the same thing over and over and over again. And if it was not just right, I would have to restart. Sometime later, I was on a good run. I had not made a single mistake. I got to the boss. All the zombies died. Could it be my hours of suffering over? No, I died to the boss having 15,000 health. I knew I had it in me. Just one more game. I did it. I had beaten some, could say, some of the hardest maps in the entire game. But if you're still here, thank you so much for watching and hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.